Mirio's original. And welcome to Web Crawlers, the podcast where we do a deep dive into some of our favorite unsolved mysteries. Each week, we will introduce our topic, lay out our research and findings, reveal some conspiracy theories, and conclude with our own hypothesis. Who knows? We might even solve the case. I am Ali Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. And I'm producer Maria. Web Crawlers has a Patreon. And you guys, we have so many new patrons. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, that's so great. It's really awesome. And you guys are all going to get a package from me soon. Um, but I'm labeling it with my apartment address. And I am moving from my apartment in like two weeks. <laughs> so you can't that's smart. You can't get me uh to get access to <laughs> to get access to rewards, bonus episodes, shout outs, and merch discounts please go to patreon.com slash webcrawlers. You can donate as little as $2 a month. And please rate and review us on uh, iTunes. We have some new reviews. This one is from Big L O Eight. Title is Delightful Drive Home. Says, I love these girls. I am glad someone other than me has that same type of asinine humor. I can totally relate. I look forward to each and every show. I would pay just to listen to these three laugh all day. Super cute. And the content is engaging, too. Oh. This is from M. Seth, 1998. Life-changing. P is stored in the balls. It, exactly. We've always said that. Thank you. Um, next, Erios has a hotline. The number is 626-604-6262. Also, let's insert j- that jingle. 626-604-6262. Here we are. Uh, it's really been popping off. Please uh, leave us more voicemails. And then we have a kick-ass Discord. It is so fun in there. It's great. Yeah. Melissa, Maria, and I go in all the time. And like the podcast is becoming a little community, would you say? Yeah, everyone's making friends. We got different regions in there. Everyone's, it's fun. M- Marie, it's a you fun guys are like world travelers. You're number 94 in true crime in Saudi Arabia. What? You're number 57 true crime in the Philippines. Shut the front door. Wow. Well, we should do an international tour at some point. Well, it seems yeah. like you're very popular in anywhere but the (laughs) north america which makes sense it makes total sense to me makes you think yeah well that's good (laughs) mexico russia south africa you're number 225 wow wow okay well we gotta capitalize on that somehow so go on our discord so we need to make some more international channels on our discord and you guys have got some um supporters some new supporters oh tell us about it stud um, this is from Magnet Magneto Girl. Ooh. She gave three dollars for the Thank live you. call-in show. Maybe Magneto Girl Amazing. is confused about why the new mutants movie is only coming out in theaters and not VOD also. Isn't that weird, mm. guys? That That's a mystery. why is it only coming out in theaters when we're in the middle of a pandemic? Like release that to TV. Um I'll pay I twenty. I imagine bucks. people are gonna be thrilled about going to a it's theater. not going to do well that way anyway sorry continue and then adam gave six dollars nice and he said i don't do venmo so this is for the youtube live shows you've been doing oh wow cool thank you oh awesome melissa who are our new patrons we have a ton of patrons yes we've got rosie n jessica b tyler m dj emily h lydia m brian f veronica matt s david orianne Emily W, Joe, Matilda, Elizabeth H, David E, Kelly L, Brian Q, Sean F B, Catherine T, Amanda G, Troy R, Emily G, and Flannery S. So our our main story today was suggested to us during the live show. Melissa, what is it? Yes. So Cheyenne brought this to our attention during a live show, I think like two weeks ago, two or three weeks yeah. ago. And it's the Bethel Church in Redding, California. Crazy. And some people claim that it's actually an evangelical cult. So what's the deal with Bethel? 
And how is Sherry Papini possibly connected to it? Let's Let's get get into into it. it. Honk, honk. So the history of Bethel. So Robert Doherty began the church in 1952, and they were an affiliate of the Assemblies of God beginning in 1954. And then in February of 1996, they invited Bill Johnson, who was the son of a pastor, to lead the church. And Bethel had nearly 9,000 attendees a week as of 2016. That's so crazy. Yeah, and uh, over 11,000 people who call Bethel Reading home as of their report of, in uh, 2018. So they are a non-denominational megachurch, but also they have made a lot of headlines over the years that we'll get to. You know, these like mega church things, by the way, we're like not against any religion. We just like to investigate sure. fanaticism. Um or extremism of any kind. Um, but when I was living in Santa Barbara, uh, there was a mega, and I was friends with like this group of girls and they all were like devout Christians and they all went to a mega church every Sunday. And it was like in like oh, a, wow. a stadium, like it was in like the Santa Barbara city college stadium or something. And it filled the whole stadium And it was like one of those cool young pastors and like all the young kids went. Oh, Like cool Christianity Uh, is so interesting to me. Um, It's so, it's so, those things are so huge. It's such a thing right now. It's totally. Um, Anyways. Okay. Sorry. Continue. So weird. Um, So their beliefs, they focus largely on miracles. And they teach that all miracles described in the Bible can be performed by believers today and happen regularly, including faith healing of everything from curing cancer to regrowing limbs, raising the dead, speaking in tongues, casting out demons and prophecy. And their services always have congregants laughing uncontrollably, lying on the floor, shaking, staggering, screaming, and dancing which they teach are signs of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow. And then leaders claim to have witnessed angels appearing and quote-unquote balls of electricity that throw people into the air. My God. And one of the most well-known phenomena is a cloud of what is claimed to be gold dust or gold, gold glitter that has been seen falling from the roof of the auditorium. And so there's all these videos on YouTube of this and they call it a glory cloud that also sounds like something sexual that sounds like a sex <laughs> a <does>. sex thing <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people have questioned the authenticity of this and i mean it's basically just glitter in the ventilation and the ac system that they put that they like blow out into this crowd and people are like oh, it's this glory cloud it's so glory weird. cloud is wild like i gave glory i gave her the cloud. old glory cloud or a glory clouder <laughs> yeah. last night Uh, They also teach that people who are not part of the church are inferior to them and demonic. I get it. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, So there's this teacher, Leslie Crandall, explains that 
students are taught that God is actively at work in the world and miracles did not die with Jesus. They're taught that God can manifest his healing power through their prayers, according to students and leaders. They said, we believe that God is still speaking and he can speak to his kids and he does. But I think they mean that like literally though. Like they're like, hey, hey, Ted, it's me, God. You should go over to that person and heal them. Like I think they mean it like super literally. um, Like the biblical literalists. Yes. uh, The flat earther people. Yeah. And according to the website Cal Matters, it says Bethel's influence goes far beyond its megachurch of 11,000 members in school with international pull. Bethel music is played around the world and its studios have produced a handful of Billboard 200 hits in the last decade. So they have this like big uh, record label. And then there's Bethel TV, which is a, a subscription service that streams church services, e-courses, and original shows produced by Bethel. We should pitch web crawlers to them. (laughs) (laughs) And Bethel's weekly podcast has 20 million downloads a year, just like similar to ours. And there are dozens of books written by Bethel leaders, several conferences each year centered on everything from music to medicine. And they bring more than 25,000 people to Reading. And there's also Bethel's tech school, Um, Kindergarten through eighth grade school and art school, it's International Leadership Network, Global Legacy, which is created by a former top British prison executive. I like that sounds suspect. Yeah, that's what it said. So weird. I know. So um, here is a review of Bethel on TripAdvisor, and this review is not written by Maria. It says... (laughs) Uh, they are please. It says they are taking over Reading. They're quickly buying up houses and apartment complexes all over town. They kick people oh, out God. of their homes uh, with nowhere to go and tell them that if they want to stay, they have to pay the rent, which is ten times higher than what people can afford. Uh, their cult members continuously approach me and touch me after I ask them to leave me alone. They even have their hands in our city council. They are nothing but a bunch of homophobic asses. I don't recommend this so-called church to anyone. They even didn't help during the car fire after they got tons of money to help the victims. You had to be a member of their cult in order to get help. Another uh, review on TripAdvisor says... As a devout Christian, at least as I see myself, coming onto the Bethel church grounds, I felt a satanic-like power. I recommend that before anyone visits as a tourist, that they become knowledgeable as to what it is professed at this church. It is certainly an impressive place with impressive grounds and buildings with friendly people everywhere, but but do not be deceived about what really underlines this place. Damn. Crazy. No, thank um, you. So Bethel has also infiltrated the local government. According to this website, Cal Matters, which talks a lot about Bethel, uh, Redding's mayor, Julie Winter, is a Bethel elder. Bethel paid the salaries of several oh. police officers when the city couldn't afford to, totaling almost a million dollars. And they've donated Jeez. over one million dollars to the Redding Police Department. In addition to that, of course, they have. Um, a Bethel connected nonprofit took over management of the city's civic auditorium and now holds supernatural school classes there. Bethel's oh, influence was central to getting a direct flight from LAX to Redding approved last year. And oh. despite many complaints, the city approved a $150 million Bethel expansion that will triple the city's capacity and allow the school to grow by 1,000 students. Yeah, I read that they were like, wanted to get this huge expansion. And they need all these permits. And like most people were against it. But like the people they hired that work in City Hall approved it. Yeah, well, it seems like they're pretty so, much like, like running City Hall yeah. and buying out. Scheming. The, yeah. So our listener who called in, and then I think we also had someone email in say yeah. that this Bethel Bethel church members say that they get drunk off the power of Jesus. They believe Jesus rains glitter and gives only Bethel members the power to heal. A website called the Gospel Coalition says that Bethel church claims to frequently encounter unexplained phenomenon, both during their services and also in their everyday lives such as falling gold dust, and then this part made me laugh, and angel feathers. 
the feather, Ugh. the feathers, gold dust, etc., are not things we do. Johnson said they happen. They also cl- no, they're in the AC vents. Okay, but also I have to say, from my perspective, I believe in in feathers, and so I am Team Bethel on this one. I think that there are signs. Like I think if you see like pennies or feathers randomly, that those can be signs from like ghosts or angels. So I do. I am Team Bethel on that. I do, yeah. I think pen, like seeing pennies and feathers, it's like, oh, it's like a fun good luck sign. Or if whatever. you choose to believe it, but I, sure. the gold dust, I think is stupid. But I do think yeah. that, like, if you notice feathers around, like, I do think those kinds of uh, those can be signs. You don't have to believe. Well, it. I'd hate sure. to see you at a burlesque show. Oh, Maria. <laughs> 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 Maria, just saying. Um, I'd like to see her at a burlesque. Too. <laughs> Damn, girls. Uh, anyways, but you can hear more about that on my upcoming podcast, Angelic Encounters. Angelic. Anyways, Angelic Encounters. <laughs> uh, Bethel is also <laughs> extremely homophobic, and they promote conversion therapy. This part's crazy. Um, First of all, they have a five-part audio series, video series about homosexuality that they sell in their store. Oh, God. Um, and you can buy it online. Um, and it's like... I bet that's entertaining to watch. I bet, I bet it's insane. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and it's like all about people who have been changed. Like, I used to be gay Ugh. and now I'm not. Um, mm-hmm. Their conversion therapy community is called Change. Uh, the Christian Post, the Christian Post <laughs> explains, <laughs> Changed is a group founded by Elizabeth Woning and Ken Williams, two pastors from Bethel Church who previously identified as homosexual <gasps> and are now married to members of the opposite sex. Oh, how sad like, their lives must can be. Can you, like, these are two pe- the people used to be gay and now they're, like, married and start, like, it's so sad. Um Ugh. Although change has existed for a few months now, so it's like pretty new, it garnered widespread attention oh. and backsla- backs- backlash through a series of posts in August by the Bethel Church Instagram account. Um, Can a person leave homosexuality behind? Read a post. The posts also describe the group's mission. Change is a community of friends who once identified as LGBTQ+. And through encounters with the love of Jesus, have experienced his freedom in their lives. And people oh, like no. people who were in the Bethel Church who like previously identified as queer and then like had gone through this conversion therapy, had uploaded pictures of themselves and then used the hashtag once gay. And then like oh. since they were like not gay any longer. And then this obviously caused like kind oh. of an uprising. How sad. Yeah. So like Just- just be happy. Yeah. Just fucking. It's so God. crazy. So then Bethel like released a statement I was reading saying like, we don't believe in conversion therapy to, for everyone, just people who are unhappy being LGBTQ plus. And for those people who are unhappy, we have a solution for them. That placated some of the Christian community being like, okay, they're not trying to like convert everyone. Um, but then some of the hardlining Bethel people were like, you're you're saying that some forms of homosexuality are okay like you need to draw a line about right. like how we need to convert everyone like it's cr- like they they don't have a good stance on lgbtq issues so this music thing they have they basically have like an apple music and their most famous musician is someone named Jeremy Riddle who allegedly was once in the top 100 charts in 2014 and they have their own music label called Jesus Culture. And they're big on the contemporary worship music chart. That's wait, say worship again. Worship. You say worship like Wor- worship. Worship. Yeah, she does say it like worship. War- worship. Like wash. Do you say wash? No, I say wash. Well, then why do you say the other thing like that? Worship? Oh no. Do I say it weird? <laughs> like a worship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you said it like a warship like for a second i was like oh they have like <laughs> like sea org type ships that like how do you really- say it worship 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 <laughs> i say war <laughs> war like world war ii warship yeah, spelled melissa come on w-o-r war oh war 
Wor- <laughs> war. Worship. Wor- wor- By the way, I will wor- say, get I get it too, actually. Um, someone pointed out that I say the word different ba- wrong, and you're right. I say different with like a G instead of differ- you different. Do. And that's from, I just, I had a speech impediment as a kid, and I just like never fix the way I say the word. Hold on, I'm going to have a professional say it for <laughs> oh. us. Oh, no. No, I, I, it's going to say Bigfoot's dick. Worship. 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 Kind of says it like Melissa does. Huh. Yeah, right? Correction. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not how you say no. That's not how you say it. Anyway. Yeah, tell us more, Melissa. Jelly roll. <laughs> Jelly roll? <laughs> oh, Murray. Jelly rolls are delicious. Ew, you freak. Coos. Back to wo- <laughs> Who's? What is? What is it? Even that word? I don't know what that. I don't know what that word. I don't know what that word is either. It's a woman, especially one regarded as sexually attractive or available. A coos? Oh, a coos. Yeah, I'd say I'd be like, "Hey, Jonathan, is that uh, your girlfriend?" Coos. And I go, Jonathan, <laughs> Jesus. And we go, Coos. Okay. Will you, will you okay. start talking again Lady so she parts. stops? Lady parts. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyway. Lady parts. Uh, so, Bill Johnson, who's the leader's son, he's also in a band. Boy, they. Everyone's, like, in a rock band. Yeah. Um, and then Bill Johnson also drives an Aston Martin but he convinced everyone that it was a gift when he's clearly using the church's yeah, money duh. to buy an Aston Martin. Um, and yeah, like the, when the car fire happened, they refused to open their church for housing that was uh, people who weren't members. Like that's so, well, you have this giant church. It was like in a- Joel Osteen, I think, Houston. did that for the- Yeah, Joel Osteen. Yeah, for the hurricane. Yeah, has this giant church and would not let anyone in it. It's so gross. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and apparently they're still having meetings currently without people wearing masks. Like they said, Jesus will heal them. Okay, so I looked at that on the internet. I looked at their events calendar and they did pause it for the first few months of Corona and only did virtual meetings. And so I think yes. that they are now back to uh, some in-person meetings and some virtual. So I don't know the extremism of them disobeying COVID laws because I know that they did actually did pause it at first. Um, so I don't know how how bad they're yeah. doing. Yeah, they did have this like concert though recently, like this past weekend, where there was like a thousand people. Oh my god, really? No one wore a mask. It was in like Pismo Beach. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that's not good. So they have their own network of schools. They have their own school system. They have this uh, the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Uh, Bethel Christian School K through eight workshop U Bethel Conservatory of the Arts Bethel Leaders Network courses Bethel School of Technology and Mission Intensive Training School like this whole system of schools that's crazy yeah. so the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry trains people to become modern day revivalists <laughs> and equips them to bring the kingdom of God into their own sphere of influence. And you can attend their college in person or you can attend online classes. And so far, they claim they have had over 13,000 students from over 100 countries get degrees. And tuition, I believe, is around $5,500. What is this degree that they're getting? I don't know. I think it's like to be a minister or something, but I don't even know really what that means. That's crazy. Um, and then you looked at all their instructors and it's a bunch of white folks, but click on that link. Did you look at it? So all the, it's a photo of their teachers, but each teacher is pictured with their spouse. So with their husband or wife, it's not just a picture of the teacher alone. Weird. It's a picture of the teacher with their husband or wife, which I think is so weird and freaky. That is weird. Even when it says like, just a thing like Carl Richardson, but it's like him and his wife. Yeah. Yeah, it's very like Mormony feel. Totally, it's like if there was like an Erios like network photo shoot, and it was like Melissa Stetton, but it was like you and Martin, and then it was like Maria, and, and then it was like you and Craig. 
And then it was like Ali Siegel, and it was me and so Asher. Weird. Like it's just so creepy. <laughs> That's so. Oh, it's so. It's gross. like get your spouse out of the photo. I don't need you here. Yeah, at least Photoshop them yeah. out. Uh, then there is the warship you. And wait, you looked what it you looked into this. Okay, this so I you? could not figure out for the life of me what it was. So it appears to be an online course for like Justin Bieber, Haley Baldwin type, like, you know, like Disney Channel Christians, like people who like yeah. former like De- Demi Lovato, like former Disney Channel star oh. type people. So it's a bunch of photos of young Christians in their early 20s who look like cool and hot. And there's yeah. some sort of music component involved. So it's like, it's everyone. Yeah. Like the website is like, it's all musicians. Yeah. It's musicians. So it's like Christian people who like, I th- I feel like it's to get a degree to form a Christian rock band. Like, I don't understand what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's so confusing. Maybe it's part of their Apple, the, their, mu- their, their music industry label yeah. or something. It's like 300 song tutorials to learn from, hundreds of video song tutorials, including top charting worship songs such as No Longer Slaves, Reckless Love, This Is Amazing Grace. You'll be able to learn as a worship team how to play your favorite worship song. I honestly think it's to a, a school on how to be a Christian rock band. Uh, yeah, I think it is. In which case we should maybe go. <laughs> yeah, it'd be so cool. It's just so weird. Yeah, hear from the Bethel Music Collective and other favorite blah, 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 who share their insight about cultivating a lifestyle of worship while equipping you to grow in your identity in Christ. So it's like become a musician, but also like learn how to be a Christian. Uh, It's so weird. A lot of these are just like monetizing being Christian because a lot of the courses are just like learn about Jesus and God for $5,000 and then also get this (laughs) weird certification. That's a little bit ambiguous. That's so weird. That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. It appears to be some $300 online course. This is the Bethel, the Bethel Leaders, Leaders Network. Network. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bethel Leaders Network courses. It's $300 online course. And the syllabus is about how God is good. Yeah. I looked at the syllabus so and it's weird. just like each each course is like God is good. Why God is good for your family. Yeah. Why God is good for you. Why God is good for your marriage. And then the Bethel School of Tech teaches you cr- Christian coding. What's Christian? It's like coding? it's like how to code as a Christian. Like how I which I don't even understand what that means, but like how to What does that even it's mean? It's like how to how to excel in technology as a Christian and like how to code the Christian way. Which I don't know what the fuck that even means. Imagine if like my local synagogue was like how to make apps as a Jew. <laughs> coding for Jewish coding for people. Jews. <laughs> um and then there's this baby resurrection yeah wait you do this part i i wrote that i was gonna do it but you do it because i don't even understand what this is this is crazy okay so back in uh december of 2019 so like within a year uh there was a attempted baby resurrection oh, God. of people who were um, a part of the Bethel Church. So this is from a Medium article, and uh, the title is Bethel Baby Resurrection Maybe Latest Hoax of Increasingly Dangerous Cult. Um, it says, thousands of congregants of Bethel Church in Redding, California, bounce like pogo sticks with their hands in the air chanting, come alive, come alive, come alive, dry bones, awake, arise, inhale the light, in Jesus' name, olive, come out of that grave attempting to resurrect a toddler who had been dead since last week. Oh, my God. So the girl's parents in her congregation, Bethel Church, are seeking to resurrect their two-year-old toddler through prayer and have been criticized after church leaders set up a GoFundMe campaign on the couple's behalf this week to raise $100,000 for the resurrection. You've got to be kidding me. And after reports online and to GoFundMe alleging a scam campaign, The language of the GoFundMe was changed by church PR towards using the money to help the couple directly with expenses. They changed it from like, help us resurrect to like, help the couple in this like, terrible time. Yeah. What the fuck? Because like, why would would a resurrection cost $100,000? Yeah, seriously. A resurrection is just like what Jesus does. So the couple, Andrew and Haley Heilingethal, they called 911 on December 13th, 2019, after their two-year-old daughter, Olive, 
stop breathing at their home in Reading, and paramedics reportedly rushed the child to a nearby hospital where she was declared dead. Ugh. I think she just like died in her yeah. sleep or something. And according to a spokesperson from the couple's Bethel Church, Olive's body was transferred to the Shasta County Coroner's Office. And Kaylee, uh, the mother, in an Instagram, asked for, quote, bold unified prayers from the global church to stand with us in the belief that he will raise this little girl back to life. Her time here is not done, and it is our time to believe boldly and with confidence wield that King Jesus paid for it's time for her to come to life, unquote. Oy. And she, Kaylee, this woman, she has over 240,000 followers on Instagram. She's a musician oh my God. in the Bethel Church. She's like a big musician. Um, and then the post garnered swift support from the congregants at Bethel Megachurch in Reading. And the GoFundMe. So did they resurrect the toddler or what? No. <laughs> it didn't work? They didn't. God. They raised $78,000. Jesus, what a trip, man. Yeah, like, so this girl's body was just, like, laying in the morgue for, like, a week while they're, like, trying to resurrect. It's crazy. That's insane. Um, yeah. So we talked about the coronavirus a little bit, but at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, Bethel Church closed their healing rooms, uh, which were, like, rooms specifically where they teach healing, uh, we talked about this mm -hmm. kind of, but like apparently Bethel congregants think like it's their sworn duty to heal people just as Jesus did. So apparently they yeah. walk through Reading going up to people and just touching people and being like, yeah, I, need I to, read that too. Yeah, like I need to heal your leg. And like people who aren't in the church are like, ew, get off of me, freak. Gross. Um, <laughs> so at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, Bethel Church closed their healing rooms and moved their operation of 700 people online. The church also suspended faith healings at hospitals. The church's official position was to follow the recommendations of health officials and that wisdom, modern medicine, and faith are meant to work together. But the church simultaneously upheld their belief in God's ability to heal supernaturally. Some in the church community held differing views. One longtime teacher of the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry stated that there is no way this thing can live in the presence of God. Ugh, so stupid. Um, yes, it can. Yeah. Like God, <laughs> like this is my problem. Like God creates everything. Like God created this yeah. situation. Like God created corrupt. I mean, like God didn't create. Like, what makes them think that God did not create? Yeah, like God created coronavirus. coronavirus. God creates the person who cures coronavirus. Like God, like it's just, whatever. And we declare no fear, um, and we declare healing in Jesus's name. Like, I'm sorry, but Jesus is not going to save yeah. you. <laughs> That's what's so frustrating. Sorry. Like, if you believe that God made everything perfect and like God created this universe and God, then like everything in this universe is happening in God's image, like, right, just as it's supposed to be. So, like... Yeah, you can't pick and choose yeah. which things to believe. So, like, if there's a mass pandemic, then, like, God meant for there to be a mass pandemic, and then, like, we should follow the instructions of, like, how to, like, exist, like, most safely in that mass pandemic, and then wait for mm -hmm. the person who, like, God gave the intelligence to, to, like, whatever. I, like, sound like a flat earther. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, listener Sean, e uh, listener Sean emailed us about a girl he knows who moved from Boston to join Bethel and had a blog about it. She drove across the country and took out loans. Uh, she claims that Jesus has magically given her artistic abilities. She painted some flowers. Yeah, it wasn't that crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she details her conversations with Jesus, who she calls her holy daddy. And she insinuates that she got a man off drugs by simply telling him he was amazing. Yeah, this blog is it's like the California Post.tumblr.com. It's like just this weird Tumblr where she her pictures of oh boy her flowers, her paintings of flowers. It's, they're nice. Oh yeah, here's one. So I got whack today and I want to talk about it. During worship, God took me into a trance. In this out-of-body experience, I was up in heaven with Jesus. He reached into my chest, took out my heart, and put a new heart in it. The heart he gave me was a radiant white. 
We began walking together, and as we were walking, Jesus kept handing me white flowers. It got to a point where I held my arms filled with them, nearly overflowing. I said, Jesus, what is this? And he said, you are to give them away. You will restore the purity and honor within the lives of many. Cool. Oh, so Sherry Papini. There might be a Sherry Papini connection. Yeah, what is this about? So there's some rumors that she's involved in Bethel. Do you remember that hostage negotiator who made those YouTube videos? Oh my God, yes. Asking to bring Sherry back? Cameron, Ga- Cameron Gamble. Yeah. He's a Bethel, Bethel church member. Stop it. Remember he got that like that anonymous... I can't remember, it was like $100,000 or someone like anonymously donated to like the fund to get Sherry back. And he's like the shady guy who like does all these weird training things and like, but he's like a big member of the Bethel church. So that's why everyone's like, oh, maybe Sherry was like, holy shit, that like maybe secretly sleeping with like Bethel members, like the guys there or something. And like, that's crazy. It's so weird though. Cause she, it was in Reading. Oh my God. I bet you yeah. Bethel is somehow involved. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of speculation on Reddit on how she might be involved, but like, that's a weird connection. Yeah. I'd this say so. Bethel tr- church member. Yeah, he just volunteered. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll help get, you know, Sherry back. So, like, why would you help get Sherry back if she's not a Bethel church member? You know what just went through my head when you said Sherry back? Oh, no. I want my Sherry, Sherry back. back, Sherry back, Sherry back, Sherry back, Sherry, Sherry back ribs. I want my Sherry baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> Maria, you're muted. muted. We, can't, we can't hear you. You've been muted this whole time. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, have you been saying anything? Well, no, but I just found this weird <laughs> thing. What is it? What? Oh, oh no. no, no, you guys, this is like really weird. It's like this, like recorded. I know. Like someone recorded this and uploaded it online because someone had um uploaded it to where. YouTube, but there's no video. It's just, it's just uh-huh. um, the audio. Uh-huh. It's freaky though. So like, don't. <sighs> Excuse me. My name is Bigfoot. <laughs> is that your girlfriend over there? No, she's my sister. <laughs> well, she's quite the coos. Mind if I inhabit her lady parts? Sure. And Bigfoot. That's when the egg dick. What? What? <laughs> Hong Kong. Wow. Excuse me, Bigfoot. Your geek is blocking my car. Oh, you mind holding it? Isn't that freaky? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Weird. We were just talking about a coos. Lady parts. But so this guy, I guess, Bigfoot went into this place <laughs> He was asking if that this girl, this guy was with was his girlfriend. He said, "No, she's my sister." And then this Italian guy comes up and says, "Ask Bigfoot to to move his dick because it's blocking his car." <laughs> Weird, because like that's so didn't crazy. someone ran, run over Bigfoot's dick like a couple months ago. Like you yeah, found the audio that's the of, thing. Yeah, that's the thing because he comes in and he says, "Excuse me, Bigfoot, your dick is blocking my car." Oh, do you mind moving it? It. Uh. <laughs> wow. We should turn that into the cops or something. That feels like a lead. <laughs> yeah. Call 911. Whatever. You guys don't care, but it's freaky. Wow. Okay, cool. Wow. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, that's good to know. And then also the Sherry Papini thing <laughs> is also interesting. Um, what's What's this about the new campus? We talked about it a little bit. Oh, yeah, they got that money to build a $100 million new campus. Crazy. They got it approved in September of last year. So they're building like this giant new. They're they're basically taking over ready. That's so insane. (laughs) They're expanding. And then also like in addition to Bethel, I don't think that this is really something unique. Like this isn't the only one of these places. Um, There's one. No. Have you ever seen it? It's in Hollywood. Um. And I think it's called Hillsong. And it's in... Is it like Hollywood La Brea? Yes. 
and it's on the corner yes. and like Friday yes. nights, it's like packed to the brim overflowing. Um, and it's yeah. in, it's in some sort of, it's almost, it, it looks like a concert hall or it's like in a club or something, but it's a Friday yeah. night worship. And then at night it's like overflowing onto the streets with kids in their 20, like early twenties, yeah. cool looking kids. It looks like they're going to the club, but it's a, yeah. a Friday night sermon. Um, and it's the same kind of thing where it's this weird, cool Christian um, isn't that phenomenon. where like Justin Bieber? Goes? Yes. Yes. It was, it was, it, it started Is getting it? popular. I thought they were in like Beverly Hills or something like that. Is that the Hill song? That's like, isn't that, oh, is that where like, Chris know. Pratt goes? Where do, where do all those people go? I don't know where Chris Pratt goes. Cause he is a Looney Tune now, but this, I know Justin Bieber did go here at a point. Oh yeah. Justin Bieber, Hillsong church. Yeah. He's been to Hillsong church. Are you on this Vox article? Where it's no. all about the celebrity, the if this the rise of the star-studded Instagram-friendly evangelical ch- evangelical church and the cool Ew. Hollywood Christian. No, but that's Ew. like what I'm talking about. These things, these yeah, these, it's such I'll a weird phenom. Yeah. Hey, whatever gets you there, you know. Like if they're living yeah. good lives, you know, and they're not doing anything crazy. I guess. I guess. I know. It's, it's when it's, you but, like. Ed, it's just when all the money laundering comes into play. Yeah. Anyways, um, if you know of any weird, like, cult, like, uh, shit going on in your town, uh, <laughs> please let us know. Melissa, where can people reach us? You can email us at webcrawlerspod at gmail.com or you can hit us up on Instagram and Twitter at webcrawlerspod or on Facebook and Reddit. And then uh, hop on the Discord. The link's on our Instagram and it's on our Twitter. Yeah, this may, I want to watch Sister hop Act now. Um, anyways, Ooh. I am Allie Angelic Encounters Siegel. <laughs> I am Melissa Bieber Stetton. And I'm Maria Lady Parts Blasucci. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. An Erio's original. Powered by ACAST.